Did you know that aquaculture is the fastest growing food production sector in the world? This is as a result of seafood being one of those rare types of food that is very useful to humans and at the same time easily scalable in production. With the help of innovative technologies such as artificial intelligence and microscopic fungi, almost every country with access to the sea will be able to completely solve the issue of its own seafood shortage. And today, we will look at exactly how advanced technologies will help feed the entire planet. People have been going to the sea for food since ancient times. In the last century, fishing has become so widespread that hundreds of marine life species have become endangered. Thus, according to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, more than 90 species of fish including sharks, rays, and other cartilaginous fish are at risk in European waters alone. As Nicholas Stolve, a marine ecologist at Simon Fraser University in Burnaby, Canada points out, there's been no effective movement on fisheries management in the Mediterranean in the last decade. To make matters worse, different countries have various fishing laws and what is prohibited in one country may easily be allowed in another. This results in fishing boats being able to catch even illegal fish species and simply sell them on another market. The same is true in other parts of the world. So Michael Awe, one of the Blue Ocean activists, documented the case when 10 fishing boats caught 100 to 150 tons of sardines per day to ship them to Europe. Such a massive catch endangers not only sardines but also dolphins, gulls, and penguins, for which this fish is the main source of food. In response to the concerns of biologists, aquaculture has begun to actively develop in the world the breeding and cultivation of all types of marine organisms suitable for food. This made it possible to slow down the process of disappearance but not stop it. Now, with new technologies, the disappearance of rare marine life can be completely stopped. Sea farms allow the growth of almost all types of seafood. However, most require fish, shellfish, and other organisms to provide food. For instance, the sardines mentioned above are intensively imported by Norwegian companies that use them to grow salmon. The result is a vicious circle. Aquaculture helps save some species of fish from extinction, but at the same time massively consumes other species of marine life. A way out of this situation was proposed by the Siwatek AB Technology Company. They developed a process for growing microscopic fungi on industrial waste. Thus, they solve two problems at once. They dispose of waste and at the same time receive a high-quality product that can be used as fish food. The technology itself is currently undergoing pilot testing at a sulfate plant. The testing is supervised by the Nordic Paper Partner Company. After a pilot project, it can be scaled to the entire European Union and then to the whole world. Thus, one of the main problems of aquaculture the demand for marine life for feeding can be solved in the coming years. The Apollo Aquaculture Group Singapore company has found a solution to another problem – cost reduction. Fish farms do not require a lot of money for capital expenditures – the construction of facilities, the purchase of equipment, and the first consignment of fishes. But the operating costs – the purchase of feed, the constant purification of water, the treatment of fish – the elimination of technical problems are very high. And to solve this, the Apollo Aquaculture Group began building the world's first vertical eight-story fish farm. Vertical construction is attributable to the lack of land in the island nation. The planned capacity of the project will be 3,000 tons of sea bass, coral trout, and shrimp annually. This is six times more efficient than operating fish farms in Singapore. To increase efficiency, the company introduced several innovations. The first of these is the AquaDeck system, which is an automatic water renewal system on the farm. After the water becomes contaminated, the AquaDeck system pumps it out, runs it through special purification filters, and then sends it back to the farm. This significantly reduces the operating costs of water replacement and the maintenance of workers. Another innovation is the electronic inventory system. This technology allows real-time inventory and data sharing with all stakeholders, purchasing department, technical staff, and sales managers. We understand the amount of water required, the condition of the water, and the amount of feed, 
measured down to a single gram per cubic meter of water. As a result, we're able to produce fish in a much shorter time frame, at the right size for the market, says spokesperson Chrono Lee. However, the BioSort startup plans to make a real revolution in the aquaculture industry with its iFarm project. The project actively uses the new possibilities of artificial intelligence and machine learning to create a monitoring system for each individual fish on the farm. Every time a fish rises to the surface to get some air, it will pass through a special sensor that reads its weight, growth rate, number of parasites, and sores on it. All data is entered into the program, thus compiling an individual medical catalog. What we are trying to achieve with iFarm is to develop a technology that, in the long term, can lead to better fish health and welfare and help strengthen the competitiveness of coastal farming. We have high expectations that the health and welfare of the salmon can be improved with iFarm if we succeed, says Carl Frederick Autem, Cermax project manager for the iFarm. The prospects for this innovative technology are clearly noticeable. The ability to monitor in a timely manner the condition of all fish and carry out treatment will significantly reduce maintenance costs. Additionally, it will be possible to see in advance the progress of development and gaining the maximum weight of each individual. This will help determine exactly when you need to get a particular fish for sale. Although the CERMAC, which oversees the startup, is full of optimism. They still recognize that this is a very complex system that is only at the beginning of its development. The next step after monitoring the condition of the fish will be the creation of technologies that will allow them to be caught one at a time to carry out further treatment or captured for subsequent sale. So in 2021, the first stage of testing the iFarm system began on one of the marine farms, where there are 150,000 salmon. The tests will last until 2025. The company will collect data, optimize information regarding algorithms, and look for new ways to improve the efficiency of fish farm development. During this time, the company hopes to actively develop related technologies and immediately enter the global market. We have introduced three innovative technologies to you. The first solves the problem of feeding fish on farms. The second reduces operating costs and the third raises the overall production efficiency. If all three technologies become global, there will be a revolution in aquaculture that will change the entire process of farming and growing seafood once and for all. The ecological problem of fish extinction will also be solved. However, will humanity be able to implement advanced developments on every fish farm that exists today? What do you think about this? Please share your opinion in the comments below.